Does your child have a past life memory? Mm, it's a bit creepy. It's a bit spooky. <laughs> Because um, I've been there myself with my eldest when he was only roughly three years old. I don't remember the month that it happened, but he was around three years old. And what I am going to tell you to do if you want to find out if you're your little one, because it's best to do when they are very small, okay, around three years of age. What I'm going to tell you to do is not for the faint-hearted because you might just get a very unexpected response. Say to your three-year-old, oh, did your other mummy look like me? Or did she wear glasses? Or did she, did, did, whatever, whatever you want to say off the top of your head and just say it just say it randomly. Don't make a big deal of it. Don't sit them down and make them think, ooh, what's going on? Just casually mention it and see, see what they say. Now, my eldest, when he was, <laughs> when he was three years old, I was giving him um, some dessert after I'd made his tea. He'd eaten it and I thought, what can I give him? Um, I know, I'll give him some bananas and ice cream. So I chopped up a banana. I had one left, you know, like you do. Had some ice cream. So I chopped up the banana, put it with the ice cream, gave it to him. And he said, out of the blue completely, he said, oh, mummy, thank you. I've not had this since my last mummy gave it to me. And then he just took a mouthful of it and started eating it. And I stood behind him, even though, even though, I'm spiritual, I do what I do, I've always seen people right from being born, heard them and all the rest of it. It still was, as a mum, it was still a massive shock to the system. I, I was still behind him and I kind of took a couple of steps back and I felt spooked because this was my child, you know. So I ran to the phone and I rang my mum. That's what I did. And my mum was so kind of, you know, obviously she's, she wasn't his mum, you know, she was his grandma. So she was a bit of a step away from it. So she, she was really quite calm and she said, right, I'll come over and I'll talk to him, which she did. And um, she probed very, very gently and said, oh, James, you know your other mummy, um, do you remember what was the house like where you lived? And he described it, basically what he was describing was a terraced house um, with gentle probing, but he didn't, he didn't actually really remember much more than that. Um, Tiffany, <laughs> and lots of you follow my Tiff on Instagram, Tiff, one day, randomly, out of the blue completely, I had another moment. And that was in Tiff's bedroom with her. I can't remember what she was talking about. Something and nothing like you do. And you're there with them. Oh, you know, da, 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 school, blah, blah. And she said, she looked at me and she said, she still remembers this, by the way. And she remembers the face of who she was talking about. And she looked at me and she said, oh, she said, I'm so glad I chose you, mummy, and not the other mummy. And I went, Oh, really? <laughs> you know, here we go again. I mean, I'm weird, so I'm bound to have weird kids, I guess. But, oh, well, what did the other mummy look like? And she said, she had glasses. And she didn't really, she wasn't really able to describe much more. And I actually thought that that memory would have long since gone away. But not too long ago not too long ago we were we were talking over messages because she moved out in august and um and i said do you remember when you said that to me you were only tiny and she said yeah i do i know i know exactly all i know everything about it and i was like really and it this still feels weird and if it's happened to any of you will you please let me know in the comments it's just weird because it's you know your child better than anybody, don't you? You, you know, you're the mom. You know everything about them completely. You know, 
right from the get-go. And here they are telling you something about before they were born. And there is, as a mum, as a medium, it's not weird. As a mum, it's freaky. <laughs> so, yeah. And I said, do you remember what she looked like? And she said, yeah. I was like, oh God, this is by text though. So she wasn't seeing me go like, oh my God. So I said, go on then, describe her. And she said she had bobbed hair, this bobbed hair, brown, bobbed hair, um, like a straight bob. She had glasses. And I said, right, okay. Because we now wear glasses now, but I didn't back then. Um, and sorry about that. My phone went off. Um, yeah, so she had these um, these glasses on and this bobbed brown hair. And she remembers the face completely. And I said, do you remember anything about where you were? Or and she said, no, no, nothing at all. All I know is that I had to choose and I could see you, she said, and I could see this other woman. And she said, and I thought that you had a kinder face. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, when she first came out with this, you know, she was about three. So if you're wondering if your child has some kind of past life memory or remembering something from before they were born, um, then just say something casually, um, like, you know, oh, do you, do you remember choosing which mummy you wanted? Now, what I will stress is, please, 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 don't ever talk to very young children about an afterlife or life before or anything. You're just gently probing with this, saying, you know, oh, do you remember choosing? Or do you remember... Did you ever have another mummy? You know, something just very lighthearted and leave it at that. Uh, because my, obviously my life growing up, my mum was an incredible medium, as I've always said, but my life was thoroughly, you know, weird. It's not great for a child growing up at all. So, and it can be very scary as well. So I recommend just probing very gently, see what the response is. And uh, if you've already had your child say something similar, like I say, let me know in the comments. If you do this and you get a response and you're feeling freaked, let me know in the comments, okay? Um, yeah, it's, it, is, it is kind of interesting though. And I have heard it from so many of my followers before, you know, when I've done Q&As over on Instagram and they say, help my daughter said or my son said you know something relating to a previous life so be prepared it's a bit freaky as a mum hearing that from your child but let me know if you do it what the result is take care see you soon bye bye